All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln of x to the power of x is equal to ln of three. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times ln x is equal to ln 3. Now, I'm going to use an important formula called the W Lambert formula. And it states that if I take the W of something in the form A times E to the power of A, then this is equal to A. So this is the W Lambert formula. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this so that it suits the W Lambert formula. So we need to change this to be in the form A times E to the power of A. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to first start by rewriting this x as e to the power of ln of x because x e to the power of ln cancel out so that's just x is all that remains so x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x and I have this times ln x is equal to ln 3 so now notice how this is in the form a times e to the power of a a in this case being ln x so it's form ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. So now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, I get w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. And this is just equal to a. So, and sorry, I have to take the w on both sides. So I get w of ln 3. And then now I'm left with ln of x is equal to w of ln 3. Now, I want to get rid of this ln, so I'm just going to take e to the power of both sides. e to the power of ln is, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln of 3. So this is my answer to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and check out uh, other videos that are similar to these on my channel. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 100 to the power of 13 minus 10,000 to the power of 6. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 100 as 10 squared. So I get 10 squared to the power of 13 minus, I'm going to rewrite 10,000 as 10 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this turns into 10 to the power of 26 minus 10 to the power of 24. Now, 26 is the same thing as 24 plus 2. And now I'm going to use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this turns into 10 to the power of 24 times 10 to the power of 2 minus 10 to the power of 24, which now I can factor out 10 to the power of 24. So I get 10 to the power of 24 times 10 squared minus 1, which is equal to 10 to the power of 24 times 99. And I'm going to write this in scientific notation, which turns into 9 times 9 times 10 to the power of 25. However, this is also the same thing as 99 with 20, 24 zeros after it. So this is my answer.